Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. This is uh, just a little overview of QuickTime 10, the new media player from iTunes, from Apple rather. Now, one thing to note, coming from QuickTime 7, this is QuickTime 10. So there's no QuickTime 8 or 9, and there's a, they've also dropped the Pro version, so all the features I'm going to show you are free right out of the box when you upgrade to QuickTime 10. And another thing. I don't. I just don't know why people call it X Mac OS X, QuickTime X. It's a Roman numeral. Please, if you leave a comment, don't. It's just frustrating for me. I guess I don't even know why. It's not even a big deal, but whatever. So here's QuickTime 10. They've redone all the UI basically. So this button will bring you into full screen. This button will stretch it out so it fills the entire screen. Pretty simple stuff right there. But what they've really done is made this your one-stop shop for media. So you can play all your media in here, but they also allow you to create your media. So what do I mean by that? Let's uh, look into this a little bit more. So from the file menu, you can do new movie recording. They had this in old versions as well. You can So you can do that. You can also go down here to the little carrot, change your camera, change the snowball, or whatever microphone input you want to have, quality, depending on how much how big you want it or how much detail you want to have it uh, where to save so that's been there for a while they've also we've also seen new audio recording that was there as well in, in the old time in the older versions for free movie recording you needed the pro version but you've also you also have screen recording so if you go here and we'll click the carrot let's say you wanted high quality you wanted to save it to your desktop whatever the screen recording was we'll go ahead and press that start screen recording and they'll start recording and what you have here is you can stop the recording so we go we went ahead and stopped it now it's going to give us a little preview we can watch it so there it is it's pretty it's pretty good but let's say we weren't totally happy with it if we go and we open it back up we can go to edit trim similar to the way the iPhone 3GS does it. We can trim some of this video. So we'll just grab this part, we'll grab this part, and we'll go ahead and trim it. So now it's trimmed. We'll save it out. We'll save as, so you don't override by accident. We'll call it screen recording test. Save it to the desktop. It's gonna save it. So I'll just double check. So now you have two files, the original file. So you could have overridden it. I changed it to test the new one. So here's the trimmed version. And here's the untrimmed version. You can do the same trimming with uh, movie recordings as well if you wanted to capture video with it. But what does this button do? It's sharing. So you can share directly to iTunes. So send it to iTunes, make it compatible for your iPod or iPhone, whatever you have, Mobile Me Gallery or YouTube. So you can enter the, your YouTube name and password, similar to the way the iPhone 3GS does it again, and you'll be able just to upload directly to your account, which is really cool. So really, I guess that those are pretty. That's pretty much all the new features in QuickTime Player, QuickTime 10. But as you can see, what Apple's really done here is tried to make the application your one-stop shop for all your media needs so now you can create content in there and you can do some basic editing you can upload so no web interface you don't need a separate editing application to cut the beginning and end the end where you press stop record and the beginning where you prepared yourself you don't need to go to the web interface go to upload it's just all in the application and con uh, additionally you know it's still a really nice media player it has some nice uh, effects with it in terms of the UI and it can play a lot of different files so it's basically again I keep reverting to the same word choice but it's your one-stop shop for all your media needs so I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com with HD video uploaded directly to youtube.com slash the revived one and this is just my walkthrough of the new features of Apple's QuickTime 10 media player thanks for watching and have a good day